Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Kisselon Dip Nail Kit. And I got this from Walgreens. I'm gonna start off by showing you what it comes with. Here's what the box looks like. Gonna go ahead and open it and show you what's inside. So we have the dip powder. We have the activator. We have the brush on gel, which is the nail glue. We have nail tips and natural in French white. We have a nail file with a rough side and a soft side. We have this little sponge that's for dusting off the extra powder. We have this orange wood stick with a flat side and a pointy side. And then we have this dish for putting the powder in. And then two extra brushes for your nail glue. So starting off, I'm going to use the rough side of the file that comes in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the shine from my nails and also buff them up a little bit. Now I'm going to go on with the nail tips and I'm going to use the French white nail tips for this video. I'm going to go ahead and use the glue to apply the nail tips. So I'm going to start off by measuring each nail and then I'm just going to sort them out so that they're ready to be glued onto my nails. So now that I measured all the nail tips, I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. So here are what the tips look like after I glued them onto all my nails. And I went ahead and cut them down and filed the shape off camera. So now I'm going in with a buffer and I'm just removing the shine and attempting to blend it a little bit because since this is a French nail, you can't really blend it in with a file because then you're going to ruin the French line. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the powder into the dish and that's going to be to dip your nails in. So you're going to go ahead and use the brush on glue for the powder. And I did go by the instructions but I also watched a few videos of other YouTubers doing it so that I know what I'm doing. And since this is my first time using the dip kit I wanted to make sure that I did it right. So watching from the other YouTubers, I noticed that, well this is the method that they use. They first apply the glue at the tip and then with each layer they gradually go down until they get to the cuticle area so that they have the form and you know the thickness that they want of the nail. And it's mostly to create the apex. So I decided to go ahead and do that same method. So you're just gonna see me apply the glue onto the tip and then dip my nails in. And you're also going to tap off the extra powder that is on your nails. Then you're going to go ahead and take the little spongy and dust off the extra powder that's on your nails. So 
So now I'm gonna go on with the second layer and this time I'm starting halfway down my natural nail. And you just go ahead and repeat the process with each layer that you do. You apply the glue, you dip it in the powder and then tap off any extra. So now I'm going in with the third layer and this time I'm going to apply the glue all the way from the cuticle being very careful not to touch your skin and then go ahead and dip it in the powder. Now you're going to see later in the video some um, flaws with my nails and looking back at this video I think that there were some things I did wrong and looking at other people's videos they didn't have the same problem that I ended up having. My nails ended up peeling while I was trying to file them and there could be a few reasons that the glue, not the glue, um, the powder was peeling off my nails and I think one of those being that I applied a little bit too much glue because what I wanted to do was even out the, I wanted to, to just even out the whole nail so I tried applying more glue at, around the cuticle area and then applying less at the tip but I think with this, the best way to do it is stick with only thin layers and not trying to use the, well, yes, use the glue to build it up, but not with, not like you do with gel. You know, with gel nails, you kind of just use the gel to build it up. Uh, you don't do this with the glue. Uh, you have to work in thin layers with each layer you do. You can kind of see in the video, I was attempting to build it up with the glue in that layer. So I think that could have been one of my mistakes because that ended up not having the glue dry all the way. So I guess when I went in to file my nail, since it wasn't dry all the way because I put too much glue, then it ended up uh, staying gummy, the product on my nails. And then it just started peeling off when I went to go file it. So this is the last layer that I'm doing on my nails and then I'll be right back.
And then I just took a nail brush to dust off all the powder that was on my hands and any extra that was still on the nail. So here's what the nails look like after I finish applying the powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the activator to set the nails. Okay, so I decided to take one of my nail files instead of the one in the kit to file the nails to reshape them. And the part with reshaping was fine, it didn't do anything to the nails. Not until I started filing on top is when the product started peeling off. So I think this was my mistake number two when I was trying out this kit. That I was using a nail file that was too rough. You know, that also could have made it that the product was peeling off my nails because I started noticing that I was leaving indents and making it peel so when I went into file even more it would just make it peel even more and it was getting worse so I was like okay I think my nail file is too rough and my nail file is the problem that's why it's peeling um you'll see in a, a little bit how uh it looks So I only showed my pinky while I was filing over top just to show you what it was doing. So you can see right there that little chunk of the product came off my nail while I was filing. And then you see me going again. I'm trying to smooth that out. And what it did is just made it worse. It made the nail peel even more. So I didn't know how to go about that. That could have been my fault. Again, a very rough nail file and also I maybe put on too much product at a time on my nail. But I'm just showing you what the product was doing on my nail. So the rest of the nails and well I went back in with my pinky and I used an extra fine drill bit to try and fix it. And it kind of did and then I also went in with that on the other nails because I didn't want the nails to keep peeling so much. So you can kind of see the nails are still a little bit lumpy. I wanted to try and hide that with some sort of design and I didn't really know what I wanted to do on my nails. I'm just showing you here what the sides look like, how the top looks like. You can still kind of see the indents. So I decided I am going to use this flower pattern foil and I'm just using this to try and cover up the little indents and like try to make it not so noticeable. So I'm gonna go ahead with my foil glue and I'm going to apply that to my pinky, my ring finger, no not my ring finger, my middle finger and my thumb.
and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill those with the flower foils so I just place it down I press it down with my thumb and then I'll go ahead and take the orange wood stick to just press it in even more uh, I'm just doing this to make sure that the whole design stays on the nail So now on my ring finger and my pointer finger, I'm going to apply some rhinestones. I'm just putting them on very randomly. I'm going in with the Mia Secret Nail Resin Activator to set down the glue and keep the rhinestones in place. And then I'm just going to go ahead and top coat my nails with this Nail Glitz top coat. And that is it for my nails. What I think about this kit, honestly I want to give it another try because I haven't seen anyone else have the same problem that I did. So it could have been a mis the mistakes that I mentioned. So I want to try it again but do it differently and maybe I'll get a better result. But with this first time trying the kit, I didn't really like it all that much. I don't like how my nails turned out. Uh, they're not terrible, I don't think. I really don't know how, how to feel about the kit. I feel like it's okay, but I want to give it another chance and try it again. And I want to try it with you guys so that we can see together how it turns out. But overall, um, if you do want to try this kit out, you can. I honestly don't think it's that bad if you uh, want something quick. But I feel like on my end, I should really give it another try. And I just want to see how it goes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.